General. About this matter, if anyone leaks out anything about it, I will not have you blame me for being merciless. Princess, don't worry. We still have two more hours to go before dawn arrives. I'm sure you'll arrive just in time. As long as there are no accidents. I'm sorry for being rude tonight and for involving you in what's going on. And despite all that, you were still kind and sent me to Xi'an Temple. And now I have no idea how to thank you. <laughs> Princess, please don't worry. If soldiers stop us along the way, I can help cover us up. <sighs> it's a dangerous <sighs> night, but it reminds me of what happened to my husband and I in the army. I'm getting old now. <laughs> it's getting really boring, you know, being cooped up all day long. I'm glad I'm able to step outside for once. <laughs> I'm confused though. Tell me, princess. Might I ask a question? I'll tell you all I know. If my son hadn't obeyed you, or your orders, what would you have done with my boy? Madam, I'm very sorry, but I might just have to torture you greatly to force him to do as he's told. <laughs> Well, it looks like my guess was right. <laughs> Even though I'm always indoors, I've heard a lot about how you run things here. I guess to see is really to believe, isn't it? In times of danger, we have to make quick decisions. My son's known for his filial piety, but he isn't going to listen to you to hurt the country, just to save someone like me. What? <gasps> Quickly, go faster! Go on, go! Madam Wei's assistance. It's a long story. I will tell you about it someday. There are people chasing us. All right, let's go inside. Come. Quick! Over there! Hurry up! Hurry. Close the door! Move. Quickly! Here! Over there!
And who could you be? How dare you be so rude here? Your Grace, Madam Wei, I didn't know you were here. I'm sorry. I am Patrol Officer Chang Dong. We have reports of a runaway carriage tonight. It might be carrying suspects, so I chased it all the way here. It was only Madam Wei in the carriage. What suspect do you mean? Um, uh, I'm very sorry. However, Madam, there is a curfew. If I may ask, then, what are you doing here? <laughs> Calm down, Your Grace. The good patrol officer simply had no choice. My daughter-in-law is about to give birth. Her grace told me that the first incense burned in Xi'an Temple is always answered. And so I set out here before dawn. I never thought that this would make you misunderstand. <laughs> if you keep delaying us, we won't be able to burn it. And we would be ruining Madame Wei's hope. As you might know, the General's piety is well known. If he hears about this incident, what will he think about you? Uh, my apologies. Please, Your Grace. Madam Wei, forgive me for the trouble I've caused. Thank you so much. Let's go! I need to head back now. Go ahead. Please take care. I will. Madam Wei, please take care as well. Take care, Princess. <sighs> <sighs> Highness. How was it last night? Everything was normal. Nothing happened, Your Highness. Open it. Yes. Your Highness. Your Highness. Something did happen. Yesterday, the two courtiers you ordered to be hanged, they... They died. <sighs> the other courtiers in Tai Chi Hall found out and started trouble. They say that... They say what? that you bring shame to the royal family and if this continues they'd rather risk their lives and challenged you to just kill them <sighs> they really thought i wouldn't do that once i get the imperial edict then we will see about that Your Highness, another thing. What is it? A patrol guard reported that they spotted Princess Consort Yu Zhang. How'd she go out 
of the palace. <gasps> forgive me, forgive me, forgive what me. What the hell did forgive you just me. say? He said he saw the, the princess consort. You idiot! <laughs> Greetings, Owl. Thanks for staying. I was only doing my duty to protect my uncle. Your Majesty, how are you feeling today? <clears throat> Thanks to you. It looks like I'm still alive. <laughs> Uncle! Uncle! Oh, it's Uncle. my fault. Hello. You must go ahead and get changed. It's been a long night. You have to go get some rest. Yes. Go on. Wait. It was reported that last night someone spotted you out of the palace. Really? If I left the palace, how come I'm here now? I am warning you. Don't try to trick me. Taking care of Uncle. Did Sila do anything? Why do you look like that? I just need some rest. Oh. I've been waiting for you. I'm tired. You're tired? You know what I went through all night? I've been worried about you. I tried to leave and find you, but I was stopped every time. And you're telling me you're tired? Well, listen. I feel exhausted too, Owl. Tried to leave? Do you know what would have happened if you did? It's dangerous in here. Do you really think Zila would let you off because you're brothers? I do not care about him. If I was afraid to die, why would I come back? I didn't think you could be the silly Titan. I'm silly? Because I was worried about you? <sighs> you were in danger! Did you really think that I would- You're worried about me? Because if you really were, you wouldn't have let yourself be caught too. Just to be trapped here with me with no way out. If you really cared about me, you would have left and stayed out of the palace and done what you can to stop Silu. But you let yourself be trapped. 
You cannot save me this way. You might even get yourself killed when this is all over. I don't fear death! As long as you are with me. Wake up, Titan. In your mind, you only care for romance. But I don't. I'm sorry, Your Highness. His Majesty's still ill. He's getting worse every day. If this goes on, then I'm afraid he won't last the winter. It's been long enough. Leave us. Yes. Does he mean to break through? It'll be suicide. I want Xiao Qi captured alive today! My lord, why did we stop? Have we received the signal of Du Quan? Not yet, sir. But they've already lost the pass. Du Quan must have taken action. The drugs you ordered us to mix into their water would have worked on them by now. It's been a month. In this warm weather, nobody can make it without drinking some water each day. The Lord Yu Zhang is no nobody. If Du Quan really made it, then why is there no signal from him? My lord, look! The signal! <laughs> Good! Well then, I have nothing to worry about after all. Cavalry ready! Sir! Stamp out Gui Wu Valley! Charge! <laughs>
one who retreats! This kind of weaponry only works for long distance. It's useless for close combat. Heavy armor ready! Move forward. Crush their artillery! Xiao Qi, you once said that I should trust in Huayan. When I gave him the tiger tally last night, I handed over half of the destiny of the capital and country. I just don't know if I truly made the right choice. But I can't hesitate now. I had no other choice. Who 
almost there. I'm Lord Yu Chang's general, Song Wuyan. I'm here to discuss matters with your generals. General Song, please. General Song, what is this about? His Majesty's edict. I'm calling all the armies to help relieve the capital. Seize him! <laughs> Why did you bring me here? What are you hoping to do? If I told you that I'm just showing you pity, would you believe me? <laughs> I don't believe I have ever had a good son. I remember, this is where I saw you most frequently back then. I often see you sitting there by yourself, always in thought. So I was thinking, as an emperor, you'd sometimes feel lonely, just like me. The crown prince had the empress. Sitan had concert sheet. Every time I saw you visit their palaces, they'd be able to meet with their father. How about me? I used to stay up all night buried in my books just to win your favor. And the monthly tests, I ranked first. But what did it matter? And so when you betrothed my beloved to Wang Su instead, in order to appease their family, I drew hate to you. Well, I guess you deserve that. If I only knew that you were really the son of Lord Channing, I would have killed you back then, on the same day you were born. You are right, Your Majesty. You are right. Have you ever heard of a type of sparrow in the south? It's called the cuckoo. It's said that they lay their eggs inside the nests of different birds. The other birds wouldn't even know. They would raise the cuckoo's children as if they were their own. And are you aware of what they do once they finally grow up and fully mature? What do you want? <laughs> My lord! We fell for their trick! In the valley, Yu Chang's general Tang Jing has surrounded us with 10,000 soldiers! And... and... And what? They say... They captured the six towns. The governor of Fengzi has been executed too. Soldiers, on my command, we'll fight our way through them. What are you doing? Are you disobeying orders? Lord Yu Chang is coming. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
It's either you or me! One shall fail! My lord, there's no chance for us. We should... we should surrender. <laughs> Lord Yu Chang, I've lived up to my duty. The six towns have been pacified. Well done. Uh, kneel! Uh, Don't be rude to him. I didn't expect this. I have fought my whole life. And now at long last, you end it, Lord Yu Zhang. But first, there's something I want to know. What is it? How did you find out that Duke Huan was working for me? Duke Huan sent his men to poison our water source. But he was conned. You doubted him even before? Yesterday, you told him on purpose to let me believe you were going to break through. You chose the wrong guy, Lord Janning. You really thought our Lord would trust him? Just because he's from the capital? Where did you get reinforcements then? All of you wrongly assumed Guiwu Valley was a dead end. But I knew that there was a road to the outside of the valley. It was my army that attacked Panza to outflank you from behind. I had no backup. <laughs> well done, army of Ningxuo. You finally defeated me. For the second time, too. You deserve the title. You truly are the god of war. Though I am defeated, you still can't save the capital from what's to come. Generals should die in battle, for honor and greatness! <laughs> Lord Yu Zhang, please kill me! Surrender, Lord Jenning. Surrender? I don't think so. The Emperor is still my enemy.
Honor him. Sir. The camps shall return home. Yes! Hold on. What have you got there? Look. They're already sentenced to death. Why give them better meals than us? This is a prison for nobles, so the food should match their higher status. Really now? You're looking down on us, aren't you? I'm not, I'm not. With them eating well, we can at least turn a profit from this. People in this jail are all from the royal family. They might come out someday, you know? And if we don't treat them well, while they are still inside, they might torture us. That makes sense. Open up! Prime Minister, you've eaten nothing these past few days. Grab a bite to eat. Don't be so hard on yourself, my lord. I'm so glad to see you are eating. Better to be alive than dead. Song Wayan, do you know what you did? Uh, what did I do? What did you do? You're the one who stole the tiger tally. You illegally gathered troops at the palace. You'll be sentenced to death for doing all of those crimes. So tell me, where did you get the tiger tally? Is there somebody aiding you? Is Lord Yu Chang aware of all of this? The longer you delay, the more you drive His Majesty closer to his death. His Majesty gave me the Tiger Tally personally. Are you saying our Emperor is a traitor? You! <laughs> Even if you don't tell me the truth, General, I know you work for Yu Chang. 
唯恐泪雨沾湿你菱花，时间追逐远去的戎马。若思念尚优雅，为何刻在天下？泪可寂静难加。听风哭哑如千丈悲家，梦中一念你笑颜如花，此曲弦一怒马。归来迎你温雅，谁难舍放不下？等沧海洗尽了铅华，与你花前月下，因为你此生才不伤。春秋，冬。